Will you have sex with me for ten thousand dollars? <laughs> is that not the craziest uh, title you've ever seen in your life? Now listen, there is a wonderful story behind all of this, but of course I'm trying to get your attention with these crazy titles. Uh, but um, I heard this great story, and by the way, this is something that can make you a lot of money if you really get the message behind it. But it's really kind of funny too. I hope you'll remember it like I did. Uh, but George Bernard Shaw, who I really don't know exactly who he was, I just know he was a very, very, very famous man. Uh, in the twilight of his life, when he was in his 80s or 70s, or he was an old man, okay? He was a very old man. Um, he was at this uh, fancy formal party, and of course everybody knows who he is, very famous guy. And there's this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful woman that, uh, that he came up to and they were having a conversation and she was just so attractive, uh, you know, probably 50 years younger than him. And all of a sudden he just blurted out, he said, uh, will you have sex with me for $10,000? And she's thinking to herself, oh God, you know, he's in his 80s. He probably can't go for more than two minutes. He probably can't even get it up. You know, um, um, she's thinking, hmm, that might be an easy $10,000. You know, what, what can this 80 year old man do? Anyway, um, here's a fast, easy way to make 10 grand. And, uh, so she said, sure, sure, I'll do it. I'll go to bed with you for $2,000 or $10,000. And then George Bernard Shaw said, he paused, you know, as, as the story goes for dramatic inflection. You know, she just agreed to do it. She agreed to have sex with him for $10,000, thinking, oh, what a stodgy old man. You know, it'll, this will be the easiest money I ever made in my life. And he goes, will you do it for $100? And all of a sudden, she's just like all offended. All of a sudden, it's like a slap in the face. All of a sudden, she goes, she goes, she's getting ready to throw the drink in his face. She goes, oh, my God, what do you think I am, a common prostitute or something like that? <laughs> and then he goes, ma'am, I just met you, but we've already established your profession. <laughs> he goes, now we're just negotiating. <laughs> I just think that is the funniest damn story. Maybe it's just me, okay? Maybe you don't think it's a funny story, but, you know, here's an 80-year-old guy, very, you know, world famous, got all this money, and uh, and here's this woman, you know, uh, who would never think of, of being a prostitute ever. Um, and um, and, um, you know, but she's thinking, hmm, this is an easy 10 grand. You know, um, the guy probably can't even get an erection. I'll, I'll make an easy 10 grand. It'll you know, it'll be the easiest money I've ever made in my life. And and then and then, of course, he goes from 10,000 down to 100. Now, uh, but, but the story is this, and here's, here's the real message here. And I'll, let me tell you another story. Let me tell you another story. I was doing a, um, some business with this uh, big-thinking entrepreneur. This is about four years ago, and he, was, uh, he told me that uh, he wanted to buy an island for his company retreat. And... Um, he had gone on the internet, and I think he found one for a couple million dollars. Um, and the, and but the problem is, he didn't have a couple million dollars. He had a growing, thriving company, but he just didn't have that kind of cash or whatever. He just couldn't make it happen. And I told the, I told him, and it kind of ties in a little bit with the George Bernard Shaw story in 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 a way that I'll I'll put a point on it in the end and make try to help you understand this. So he wants to buy this island. He didn't have the two million bucks. He didn't have the credit for it. I said, offer him three. And he goes, what? He goes, I just told you, I, I don't even have two million. What, what do you mean, offer him three? I said, offer them three. And then, and then pause back, you know, get them sold on the idea. Don't just, you know, you're, the way you present this thing is really important. You pro offer them three and, and get their attention and make them a little bit greedy, so to say, and and really wake them up so that they, you know, so that they, you know, they're they're starting to, uh, you know, my God, what, what, you know, what, what's this all about? And then you negotiate the terms. 
There's the point right there. There's where it ties in with the George Bernard Shaw story. Here's a, here's a very attractive woman, as the story goes, who would never even think of having sex with a man for money. And yet, here's a world-famous guy. He's loaded with cash. She's thinking, my God, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be over in five minutes, and I'll make ten thousand dollars. And then all of a sudden, he, all of a sudden, he's talking about a hundred dollars, and and it's just it's it's all about the terms, you know. I this this uh, this man uh, ultimately did buy an island. This uh, this guy I was working with, and I don't know if he used my idea or not. Uh, by that point, I, I was not working directly with him anymore. Uh, but it, it's a good, it's a great thing, you know. Control the terms, as long as as long as you control the terms. And I've seen entrepreneurs do this over the years, so this is not just my idea. Um, I've seen a lot of entrepreneurs do it. I studied the life of Ted Turner. Ted Turner is famous for that, you know, just making deals where other people scratch their heads and they go, oh "My God, you know, you really, you really were stupid to do that, Ted." But Ted, Ted controlled the terms. And Ted, you know, whoever controls the terms of something has all of the power. So um, get people's attention with something really, really, really bold. Um, you know, um, make them want it and then get them sold on the idea. And, of course, get them sold on the idea that maybe they're doing, you know, maybe they, you know, they're underestimating you at some level. And uh, and then and then you can work out whatever you want to work out. It doesn't always it doesn't always uh, come together, but nothing nothing always comes together. But I hope this has helped. I hope you'll remember this crazy story about this very old guy that was you know the way the story was told to me. He's just like uh, one foot in the grave, so to say, coming up to an extremely attractive woman and saying, "Hey, would you have sex with me for ten thousand dollars?" And then she's all. She's thinking, you know, that's going to be the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. I'm going to make the, I'm going to, you know, probably won't even have to do it. You know, he probably won't be able to perform. And and then, of course, he comes back with the, will you do it for a hundred dollars? <laughs> but uh, there's a lesson here. If you think about the story and then think about this idea that when you negotiate, you know, you control the terms. And um, it's it's really it's. Um, I think a lot of people just have never figured this out. We're all trying to get what we want, but this is the way to do it. Um, and it is a powerful negotiation secret. So thanks for watching this or listening to this. Hope this helps. Bye for now.